Hey, this is Bill from Colorado Percussion. Uh, so in the past we've made a couple videos about making and installing re-rings in drums and uh, come up with a new way. So, new method, new video. Uh, this time we're going to use this uh, miter saw. I just took off the, the table with the fence and made a round fence out of a, a shell cut off and a piece of three quarter inch plywood. And now I'm using this to cut the scarf joints for re-rings. I find it works a lot better and so I figured I would show you. So here we go. Now that it's cut, we're gonna take this off, same as every other method, bring it into the shell, and mark how much needs to be removed. All right, now that I've got a mark to tell me how much material I need to remove, uh, I'm gonna put it back on here. Now, so far, whenever I make these marks, I find that it's, it's never exactly in the right spot, so I tend to cut things a little bit long so I can sort of sneak up on where it needs to be. But it gives me sort of a, a reference point of a place to start. So now what I'm gonna do is put it back against this, this round fence and uh, use that to maintain the angle of the cut so that the scarf joint stays straight and at a consistent angle. So the side that I'm not cutting, I'm just gonna clamp against the fence so it's out of the way and there's no risk of that accidentally being anywhere near the blade. And then the part that I am going to cut, I'm going to much more carefully line up. About there. And then I'm going to put the spring clamp to keep that in the right spot. Double check. And then cut. So I'm going to take this back off the saw and test fit it in the shell. I'm expecting it to still be a little bit too large, but I'm kind of just checking to see how much do we need to take off. It's really, really close, so maybe just like not even half a blade's worth. So I'm gonna put it back on, do exactly the same process, but just be really careful to only take just a hair off that edge. So let's take this off and see how it fits. Sweet. Perfect. This is obviously just how we fit the re-rings. Uh, if you're interested in, in knowing how to cut the re-rings or, or how to glue them up, uh, you can look at our previous two re-ring videos on this channel. Uh, the first one was we were we initially were doing re-rings by uh, cutting just butt joints on a bandsaw and sort of trimming them with a oscillating belt sander. And then the next method was using a table saw with a sled and the blade at a 45 degree angle and getting the scarf joint that way. And uh, in those videos, you can you can see you know how we make the re-rings and glue them in and, and trim them up and stuff like that. But uh, as far as cutting the re-ring and fitting it to the shell, I really think that this is is definitely the best way that we've come up with. Uh, the barrier to entry is pretty low, all you need is a miter saw and then, you know, you have to make yourself this round back fence, but, you know, it's not, it's not a huge thing that you need to build. And I'm finding that I get the most consistent, clean, and repeatable results this way. Uh, it takes a, a little bit of practice to really dial it in, uh, but I'm also finding that this is definitely the fastest way to do it too. So I hope that helps if, uh, if you're trying to install rear rings in, in something. Um, you know, and you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments. We'll do the best we can to, you know, clear it up for you. Uh, but um, yeah, till then, thanks for watching. See you next time.